All right, so the last time we did the reduction in the ratio three to five, and now we are going to do the enlargement, the ratio eight to five. So we remember we had this line, five equal parts marked off. Since our ratio is eight to five, we're going to continue marking off those sides equally spaced until we get to eight. So we have five equal parts here already. So this now is number six. Number seven and number eight. Our ratio is to five. So this is number six, number seven, number eight. We had already lengthened these lines here. So all we need to do now is to draw parallel lines from five to B and the second line would be from 8 and we're going to have a new point we're going to call that B2 so we're going to slide after lining up the first set square with the line we set this set square either on this edge or the other and we're going to slide downwards from 5 to 8 So this point here becomes B2. Now we're going to do the other side, BC, a line that is parallel to BC. So we line up set square against BC, first set square, second set square is placed below. Hold the second set square in place, slide this one, top one, to the point B2. We draw a line from here, touching this line, the AC line that was extended. This point is C2. And the final side we need to draw parallel line to is BC. So we have, we're going to have this set square, we can set it like this against DC. We can have our second set square at this side or bottom. And we're gonna slide from C to C2. So we slide to C2 and we draw the final side. This point now becomes D2. So let's brighten the final figure. Final figure is from A to B2. That's one side. Then from A to B2. From B2 to C2. And finally from B2 to C2. So this is the enlarged figure in the ratio 8 to 5. So we use the same method, the direct method A, where we did our enlargement by the length of the side. So originally, this is the original figure, A, B, C, D. The enlarged figure is now from A to B2 to C2 to D2 back to A. Right? And that's it. We have done the enlargement.